What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now, we are in the pre-paint prep on the BMW. Pre-paint, oh, I like that. Yeah, that was good. It came straight off the top of my head. Um, and what we've got to do is roll the guards today. So, I want to get a bit more aggressive fitment on the wheels, uh, whether it's spaces, whether it's new wheels, whether it's whatever. Um, and what I'm going to do, wow, this mop is out of control. Um, what I'm going to do is roll the guards. Now, fronts are going to be easy because I don't think there's any goop on the fronts. The rears had this like really thick tar stuff, as you can see. This is me trying to get it out. Um, look, there's no easy way of doing it. They say get a heat gun, melt it, peel it out. Yeah, or you could get a four inch grinder with a flappy disc and jam it in there and just blast it out um, while wearing correct PPE and making sure that it doesn't break. But I don't know, you choose what you want to do. I'd do the safe version if it was me. Anyway, let's jump in, get this car up on some jack stands and roll these guards. Okay, so we're all set up. Here's your actual rolling device, um, machine, whatever. Now, as you can see, the wheel kind of makes it, which is all good, but I don't actually want to just do that angle. What I would like to do is more of this angle, because as you can see, uh, where are we? See how it's quite flat? I want to kind of angle that that way to push it up a bit more instead of just kind of, because that's just going to try and smush it inwards. We want to roll it up. So I actually am going to come down here, take that fold out and drop the whole hub assembly down a little bit so that I can then drop this whole mechanism down, angle that wheel more that way and start like that and then gradually turn it in as I go up, okay? So I'm gonna chuck you guys on a time lapse and we're gonna hit this. Now, uh, use a hairdryer or a heat gun or something along those lines because you don't wanna crack your paint. This side of my paint's already cracked and I'm about to go and paint it. So to be honest, I don't really care. So uh, like I'm gonna do it because I'm gonna do the right thing and try and preserve it as much as I can. But to be honest, the paint's probably all gonna crack and come off and I'm gonna sand it back to you know metal and then prime it up. So look. You win some, you lose some. This one, I'm gonna lose some. The other three, I might be able to get a little bit of a win, but like, to be honest, it doesn't really matter for me because I'm about to repaint on Monday. Um, for yourselves, definitely, definitely, definitely use a heat gun or a hairdryer and heat it up nicely to get that paint nice and soft to try and not chip it, okay? All right, let's hit it. Can't mimic it, cramp sprint in a cast system. I was born for it. For the ninjas, I'm going for it. I can't wait to trade for the skate for foreign plates. Four mortgages, all of them out of Florida. There's gotta be more to this. Can't bring you if you ain't on the list. Turn they backs in the past, now they wanna come back. Too bad, I'm not practicing forgiveness. Realize that they fucked up, now they see me get some. Can't eat while you standing in my kitchen. Yeah, I remember when you talk down, hands out, thinking that you're getting some of ours now. If you weren't there for the grassroots, I can't let you in. I'm sorry to break the bed. When I get a mansion up in the canyons, I'ma go pass this shit to my dad. And I'm putting my mama on the yacht, putting Sebastian up in the fastest. With the Jag back to Jacksonville, get Stephanie Cabal. Cause when I'm on and I don't give a fuck, I'll definitely need it. All right, your boy's out of breath. So... Obviously, if you don't know, it's obvious to me because I've done it before, but the backs are usually double skin, so you're bending two times the metal, and uh, it's difficult, man. It is difficult, so, oh, I literally just, did you see that? Nice, good one, Adam. That's all right, standing it back. And like I said, this side was already cooked. Now, what I would like to show you is under here. Now, I know there is still an edge there, a little bit, but this piece here is completely squashed up against this edge now. Previously, it was like that much gap. So now this is right in as far as you can get. Um, it's actually even better over here. Here, got a little bit of a edge still there and back here is great. So I'm really happy with the back and the front. I'm gonna give this little section a bit more of a hit because I would like to squash that a bit more uh, and see how we go. But man, this is hard. So I've shown you this side. I'm going to do the other side off camera and then I'm going to do the front off camera as well. Um, that's going to be way easier, but yeah, I'll just do that off camera. Oh, no, I'll, I'll show you a front. Sorry. I'll show you a front. I'll do the other side off camera. So let's just finish this up. I'll do the other side and then we'll spin the car around to the front. 
All right, so that is the driver's side done. Um, same, same, got the same result. This actually came out a little bit, which was nice, but um, yeah, we'll sort that out at the tunnel shop. So I have gone from a like deep in 25 mil overhang to like a, oh, it's like a 15, 14. Worst places, it's like a 14. So yeah, it's come up really good. Um, I'm just gonna give this a little bit more of a massage because um, it kind of goes like that a little bit. I want it to just last a little bit, just like dip in. And uh, yeah, there we good. So then I'll send the car around and we'll do the fronts. All right, boys, 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 um, excuse the hair. It's just, I'm sweating. It's like 12 degrees, I'm sweating. Uh, <laughs> all right, we've got the front set up. We're all jacked up, all that sort of stuff. Um, this one, I actually thought I was gonna have to drop the suspension down, but I don't, it's just made it enough. So as you can see, we're just here and I'm gonna massage that from like literally, man, like here, all the way around to this little lip here until it's flat. And this one should be like real easy. Just one thing I learned on the Supra, uh, which now has sweet guards, um, I didn't lock my steering wheel. So lock your steering wheel so you can't turn your wheels because what happens is as you put pressure on like this side, it turns in and then look, it, it just doesn't work. Um, mine locked like that. So yeah, I did it really unevenly and I screwed it up the first time. Uh, yeah, screwed it up on the expensive car. Did it good on the cheap car. Nice. Uh, so yeah, just lock your steering wheel, lock your wheels, um, and then go for gold. Just, yeah, smash it out. Uh, I'm not gonna hate them. Look, you guys definitely hate them. I'm just not gonna hate them because it's taking ages. It's so cold today, and I don't have a heat gun. I have a hair dryer. Heat gun is the way to go, 100%. Get a heat gun. Um, and it's, yeah, it's just, it's just killing me because like by the time I've heated this whole area, that, part, that side's cool again, so stuff it. I'm just gonna send it. Um, yeah, so let's do it. I won't put these goals on freeze. All right, I'll get this in before the camera dies. All right, so uh, I did pop my bumper out, but whatever. Uh, I need to take that off right now anyway. So. That is the ideal. That's knife edged right back on itself. I got a little bit of chip paint here, but who cares? All the way up and then starts to ever so slightly flare out here, but I'm talking like couple mil. Not really anything I need to worry about. No paint crack, took like five minutes. And honestly guys, if you're gonna roll low, you're gonna peel these out. Maybe not this, because actually to be honest with you, this was quite bent up. I feel like someone half rolled this previously. Um, I don't know if you guys remember me talking about like factory rolled knife edged pumped. That's how I see rolling guards. That's like the three stages, okay? Um, in my head anyway. So these are now knife edged and super rolled at the back. Like the Supra is completely knife edged all the way through to about here, which obviously doesn't matter because there's no tie there. Uh, so yeah, I am gonna put all this back together, go on the other side and then, uh, yeah, then we're Gucci. All right, boys, we're done. All the guys are rolled. That was a big thing I definitely wanted, needed to do, not wanted, needed to do before we went into the paint shop. I don't want to do this once it's painted. And, you know, if there's any like ripples or anything from doing it, because like, you know, double thickness in the back, we can always fix that in the shop to give a bit of a hammer, give a bit of whatever, you know? All right, so that's sorted now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. I hope you don't damage your cars when you guys do it. Um, you could always just grind it out like the crown, the crown, you know, that's, that's an option. <laughs> All right, guys, that's me done. I'm gonna pack up, go inside, get a feed. Thanks for joining in. Like, subscribe, Patreon, comments, all that sort of fun stuff. Thank you all for coming along, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys.